It's finally here. This big box contains a new chainsaw and I've been wanting to get a new upgraded one for years. So let's go unbox this thing. I care less about this yoga mat than I care about the chainsaw. <laughs> and I care Who more. To make that call. Me? <laughs> do you care more about this table or do you care more about the $10 looking yoga mat? Alright, new chain, organ chain. I think that these are supposed to be bigger and more beefy than the standard chains I'm used to. So, chainsaw tool, bar. There we go. Now I get the power head out. Alright, here it is. New Echo CS 590 Timberwolf. First impressions so far, I mean, this thing's been, I haven't owned a big saw like this. I've got a little 38cc Ryobi, a little two, uh, Home Light 240 that came with this house. It's probably 40 years old. This saw is like kind of one step down from like the professional series, and it has a huge motor in it. The frame of the saw is magnesium. Everything in here is just strong. I went ahead and got the option for this for a 24 inch bar. So I thought it'd be nice just to have like a little bit extra, you know, kind of wiggle room. Um, we do have a couple that maybe get into the 20 inch area. So this would definitely help a good bit instead of having to kind of double cut. The chain on this thing is a beast. It's the organ chain that it came with. Um, I've heard these are three eighths chains. They're supposed to be bigger and I think a little bit more aggressive than what would be on like the standard little Ryobi that I have. Now some stuff that I do like about this saw. First thing, transparent fuel tank. With saws you net like my other ones, you never know when you're about to run out, right? Like all of a sudden it just sputters and dies and you're sitting there on what? And then you're like, oh right, it's probably out of fuel. So transparent fuel tank, pretty awesome. I mean, all of these pieces here, they're all metal, they're all high quality. The fan in here blows air up into the filter housing to keep the dust out. Got the oil tank up front. Some nice sharp, I don't know what these are called, spikes. Call them tree spikes, we'll go with that. This is just, you can feel it. It's like heavy duty, these sprocket here. Like it is thicker, it is clearly more intense than what's on any of those cheaper saws that I have. Back here is pretty simple, standard throttle control. Get a nice on off switch. I can tell you this will actually be way nicer because I feel like I'm always accidentally hitting the switch on my other saws. Um, simple choke lever. I took this off earlier and I can't exactly tell what this is up here, but it looks like some type of adjuster for, I don't know, we'll have to read that in the user manual, which I'll take a look at in a second. Well, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the chain on this and see how it goes like the links on this thing are just so much beefier so are the cutting edges like this is the this is the 24 inch bar and i mean this thing weighs like and this is a solid two or three pound bar like it feels heavy and usually weight with tools like is kind of a good sign. It's kind of like that with audio equipment or just about anything else. Usually when it's got some weight to it, it means they actually put the proper design into it.
feel like everybody's got a different way of saying how they want to adjust their chain, etc. But I've always kind of learned that this should be not tight, but it should kind of suck up into the bottom of this on its own. You kind of pick this up here a little bit on the front because this bar does move a little bit. And you want to adjust it with the bar slightly up. Okay, that looks pretty solid. Even sitting here in my flannel pants like this is Christmas. <laughs> kind of is in a way. I've unboxed the saw. Now it's time to go get some bar oil and uh, pre-mix fuel. Now the reason I'm doing that is because the bar oil stuff that I have for my other saws is just kind of like about as basic as it gets. And I prefer to, you know what, I'm just gonna use the high quality stuff. Some of you probably be like, nah, that's fine. Just use the cheap stuff. That's like the Ace Hardware branded thing. Cool. But when you just spent 400 and something dollars on a saw, let's just, we're just gonna go with that. The other thing is uh, the fuel that I've already mixed for the other saws is at 40 to one. And the manual on this calls for 50 to one. So I don't really wanna run something that's over, over oiled. So we're gonna go ahead, go to the hardware store, get some premix. The other good thing about premix is that it's usually ethanol free and ethanol free fuel lasts longer. And up here at elevation, anything we can do to like not bother with any type of power loss is usually a good thing. So we are gonna go to the store and we are going to get some premix. Let's go get some chainsaw supplies. chainsaw chaps as well. I've never really used a saw that's this powerful, so I'm not really sure if I should just like, you know, go out and have at it like I have with the other two saws that I've been using for years. I'm gonna consider myself like novice plus. I'll say probably over the course of my life between me and maybe my dad, I've probably taken down 50. Since I've owned this property, um, I think I've probably taken down maybe 10, probably 10 trees. And, you know, usually just dead ones to clear them from falling on anybody or, you know, a few dead ones for wood, but that's pretty much it. So, hence the reason I figured we're gonna use this big, powerful new saw. You know, I've, I've never experienced anything like kickback before. And, you know, with the small saws, you kind of just they're so light and they're so simple around. I wonder with something bigger like this, with the longer bar where I'm gonna have less leverage, if that's gonna be a big deal. So hence the reason for the chaps, got some 50 to one oil. I bought some still branded um, bar and chain lube. You know, maybe everything will work, who knows, but we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna do a little comparison, just so you guys can kind of get an idea of the size. This is a little Ryobi saw. It's a, I think it's 38 cc's, and I put an 18 inch bar on it, but it came with a 14. But let's just like, I mean like, just look at the size difference. I mean, this thing's a tank in comparison. I mean, even the bars, you know, it'll even them up. And you can kind of just see, this is the aftermarket one anyway, and this guy is just a monster in comparison. You know, these little uh, little teeth are, you know, tiny compared to these guys, which are just massive. 
So, I mean, you can kind of just tell the difference, right? Like this thing's all kind of plastic and everything else, whereas this is all metal, right? So this is just a big saw. Well, let's fuel it up and see if we can get it started. spill it all over the damn place. At least it went onto the freaking chain. <laughs> ah. As I said, kind of noob status. There's no primer on this, so we're gonna lift the switch to up, press the decompression valve, pull out the choke. We give it like five rips or so. Okay, so just about started, so we're gonna push this back in. Make sure the decompression valve's down. Damn, this thing is a beast. Oh. Okay, I've got I've got a little time between now and my next meeting. I got the chainsaw to start up. So we're just gonna go ahead and try it out. I'm not gonna get like fully suited up. I've got this tree that we only got through like cutting up about half of it this winter because we just had some friends around. So it's probably like the perfect candidate for testing out the saw. So we got the saw here, there's the tree. Let's go ahead and get on over here. It's pretty awesome. The carburetor needs to be tuned for this altitude, but the instructions say to not do that until it's run two tanks of gas through. Um, I think that's just to kind of help break the engine brake in, but I know it's not running like fully prime right now, but it is ripping through wood like crazy. Like our other saw, probably couldn't even get through that. Yeah, we'll have to do a side-by-side -side comparison. 